Yeah, I think a, a new name to a lot of people, but really a name that in the last 12 months has uh, come out with some very interesting uh, results. And I think in the next three and six months, you see there's a, a very definite step, uh, which I think will uh, increase the amount of interest in what we have quite dramatically. So we will be uh, putting in forward statements, uh, the cautionaries. So three elements, three-pronged approach, and it's the first element uh, that is the real excitement for us internally. And the one project in particular, Adambi. Um, in total, we already have 3.6 million ounces of uh, inferred and indicated resources, which are around two thirds is sitting in the Adambi area. Um, but we believe that that could go up by another 1.4 million ounces in the next uh, three to six months with the ongoing drilling at uh, Adambi. Beyond that, uh, close to Adambi, we've got some very interesting early stage exploration. And uh, then there are other areas which historically have had great results, which we want to put some holes in second half. And then finally, the thing that many juniors would put first, but uh, for us, uh, it's sort of moving down the pecking order a little bit, the uh, Barrick JV. 56% um, of our ground is taken up with JV for Barrick. You have to ask yourself why, uh, why Barrick there? Um, this is up in the, in the top right-hand corner of the DRC. It's because relatively close by, they've got their highly successful Kavali gold mine. I mean, to put that mine into perspective. And um, it produced last year, it's just come out with results, just over 800,000 uh, ounces. And uh, the cost, all in cost, $786 an ounce. That's the lowest of the six gold mines that Barrick has in, uh, in Africa. So it continues to be churning out. EBITDA there was around $900 million for one year at 800,000 ounces. Our project at Adambi, much early stage, resource, et cetera, but the uh, grade that we've got at uh, the Adambi pit area is very similar to the grade that they've mined at uh, Kabali and underground. It's looking very encouraging too with our early stage drilling. So that's why we're getting excited about Adambi because the metrics are starting to look very, very interesting. The DRC, it's had a checkered history. You see our ground on the right-hand side is, uh, as I say, top right-hand corner. Apart from Barrick Gold and the uh, JV with uh, Shanjung and Kabali, I think important for investors to hear and hear what's happening at the Kamoa Kakula mine with Rob Friedland and Ivanhoe. Almost daily now, you're getting updates on that copper project coming in ahead of project, and it's going to be one of the world's great uh, copper projects. So we're seeing a number of very positive stories coming out of DRC and the mining side of, uh, of, of late. We've been there for over 12 years and uh, historically built things and uh, we will continue to build things the community. We're looking at water, for example, currently and various other types of infrastructure, of course, critical. Uh, we raised uh, just over a month ago, five and a half million uh, Canadian and uh, market cap currently around 85 million, um, 85 million Canadian. We've got a uh, management holding 24%. The majority of that is held by uh, Arnie Kondrasht. Um, our CEO, and so obviously we're, we're all aligned in our exco, our holdings. Resolute on 25%, they came in around uh, two years ago, and then uh, Newmont have been there for uh, over, over 10 years. I think on this slide, really experience, and everyone says experience, but we've got Arnie Kondrat there, top right-hand corner. He's been in the DRC through four presidents, and almost uh, 30 years now, he really knows how to get things done in, uh, in the DRC. And then on the left at the top, Peter Cowley, he can put his name to around 30 million ounces of uh, resources in the type of geological terrain that we're in, the banded ironstone, greenstone type of belt in the DRC in Tanzania, which is essentially all the same belt. Myself, I used to be with uh, RBC, heading up their global mining uh, research uh, initiative out of London and uh, kicked the tires on quite a few projects in Africa in my, uh, in my many years as an analyst. So as I said, top right-hand corner of the DRC, Kabali mine, 220Ks away. The green areas represent greenstone throughout that area and uh, carries on. I think the takeaway here on this slide is there are lots of ounces to be found at Gator, bottom in Tanzania, and Bully, Bangiza, and Kabali. We have the uh, Ngayo belt at the top of the Kilo greenstone belt. Historically, it's been mined. And uh, as I say, uh, we've got currently 3.6 million ounces of uh, indicated and inferred uh, resources there. The Ngaya belt in the center certainly has scale versus the other belts, uh, Kibali and Gator, which are on there at the same scale. We know we have uh, gold uh, occurring throughout the uh, area. The blue represents the banded ironstone through the green stones. 
Yeah, all uh, throughout there, we've either had uh, historic trenching or our own trenching or work on the ground by ourselves or barrack more recently and for some artisanals through the area as well. We're concentrating on the bottom, bottom right, uh, Imbo project area, which has got a Dumby, uh, as you mentioned, that's the focus for us. But we also have, uh, control Macapella and uh, Yindi. And then uh, beyond that, the other ground is largely taken up with the joint venture of, uh, with, with Barrick, where they're currently drilling. So Dumby, you'll see the uh, red uh, 900 meter uh, area on the right hand slide. Um, it's relatively vertical uh, deposit, but uh, 900 meters, as I say. And then you've also got Katenga and Manzaka, which are small resources. Um, in total, those three resources, the Dumby and those two, are uh, 2.5 million uh, ounces. And then we're doing some uh, earlier stage exploration down at Imbo East, about eight kilometers away. That's the uh, ridge, and you can see, uh, encouraging for when we're going forward, looking at uh, putting a pit in place. So Dumbia itself, there's a grade, 2.35. And if you see many projects are making money at one gram a ton, really, it's, look, it's uh, a very high-grade uh, project. Uh, on the right-hand side is the uh, pit outline, 1500, and you'll see the deposit, pretty vertical, 100, 100 to 130 meter, banded ironstone, and the, and the sort of grades that give you the... Uh, the overall uh, resource grade. So we're in the middle uh, currently of this 7,000 meter drill program. We're looking to do some infill drilling uh, in amongst those holes you see there, plus uh, underground, we're looking to do some work. And we've in fact in today announced uh, LADD08, uh, 43 meters 1.68 with 15 meters 3.62. So within the pit, you'll see the large oval there. We believe within that sort of area of infill drilling, we'll add another 400,000 ounces to the 2.2 million ounces so taking you to 2.6 million ounces pit uh, resources. And then under, um, on the right, uh, you'll see some of the grades that we found be, be narrow, narrow underground, of course, but we've already got uh, over 12 meters at 8.11. And compare that to Gubali, they look at around 10 meters at uh, four grams a ton for their underground as, a, as an average of their intercepts. So, so far, so good in underground. We believe we can add a million ounces. So these are really significant upgrades in the resources over the next uh, three months or so. Once the resources are in place at the Dambi, we'll switch in with a preliminary uh, economic assessment, which I think uh, will, is really when the excitement will be focused on us, given what we've seen at uh, Kibali and their economics. Touched on other exploration. Um, so eight Ks away, Imbo East. Um, we, long and the short of it, it looks really encouraging. We're getting uh, great grab samples, getting a lot of very interesting stuff, but we need to put some holes. So second half of this year, we'll be looking to put some holes to see if we have uh, something critical mass to add to the uh, Adumbi uh, area. And then Macapella, uh, 40 kilometers away from Adumbi, we have about 100%, sorry, I didn't mention Adumbi, we have just under 85% off. Macapella, we have 100% uh, off. And um, again, we have resources here already. Um, this is from a number of years ago, 1.1 million in total. You'll see the split on the right. Fantastic grades, but this is more quartz with visible gold. And uh, it's got scale, three kilometers of scale, could go further. But we, and, and look at those intercepts, 64 grams a ton, 4.3 meters true width. So it's really very, very interesting. And again, we'd like to put some more holes in to understand what's going. But it's really, it's uh, something to pull out second half of uh, this year. It's a dumby we're focusing on. The Barrick JV, well, they have the right to earn in to 65% of, uh, of the areas that they're, they're looking at. And um, they can do that by coming through with a positive pre-feasibility study. They will be funding it all that way. It's only after we have a positive pre-feasibility do we start funding subsequently. And any project that sits below their uh, criteria, which is normally around 5 million ounces, uh, falls back to us for free. They've been drilling now, well, they've had the ground for four years, been drilling for about uh, five months now, and there's just a couple of holes, scout drilling, currently focusing on Yambenda and Mokepa. So we wait to, uh, for information on the drilling that's ongoing uh, there. Large structures, Yambenda's 9Ks, structure Mokepa's 6Ks, relatively close to our own Macapella. So it's interesting, but um, we, we, we await news. So our value proposition, we control just over 3.6 million ounces in total, indicated inferred, the attributables on the, on the right. 
and see the growth 2020 there. That's where we sit, 3.6. 2018, we just had over 1.1 million. But it's 2021 as we put the extra 400,000 ounces in the pit to the Dumbi and an extra million ounces underground. That takes us to uh, 5 million ounces. And that's only the 600 meters of the Dumbi. We, I mean, uh, at Kabali, they're way below a kilometer now with their uh, resource. So we could see that figure cranking up. And what does it cost? Uh, for that, well, $17 an ounce uh, as of a couple of days ago. And if you look at the peer group there, um, well, we're looking uh, cheap. I know there are reserves and resources and feasibilities in that group, but nevertheless, we look cheap given the grade of ours is probably twice the majority of those. So uh, just to finish, essentially, buy a $17 an ounce currently. I see there's a long dated option for that $1,000 an ounce Kabali margin. But on the way, in three months, we'll have the resource upgrade. And then in six months or so, we'll have a PEA with a really very, very interesting, uh, we believe, economics on uh, on Adambi, given the scale and given what we've seen at the margins at uh, Kabali. And on top of that, anything that happens at the JVs for free and uh, anything that happens at our other expiration uh, is for free as well. So we still believe there's quite a bit of upside in our share price. And thanks very much. Thank you.